Yes, I, I think uh, Angus, uh, I think, has been declared now, and also Dundee East as a whole for the SNP is no surprise uh, in Dundee East in particular. But there's an irony here in that the Conservatives seem to do, be doing particularly well in Scotland because they didn't fight it as a UK contest, they fought it as a Scottish contest. And you were almost banking on uh, voters seeing it in that way too. So it does seem to reinforce the constitutional issue. Yeah. OK, um, well, let's just confirm some of these results for you. Um, yes, uh, the Angus constituency has gone to the Conservatives. And here are the details. So the Conservatives gaining Angus from the SNP. Kirstine Hare, the winner there with 18,448 votes. And she stood at the Holyrood election last year and was unsuccessful, but she's now on her way to Westminster as the new MP for Angus. Uh, defeating the SNP's Mike Weir, uh, a veteran of the House of Commons. 15,503 votes for him. Labour's William Campbell, third, with 5,233. The Liberal Democrats' Clive Sneddon in fourth with 1,308 votes on a turnout in Angus of 63%. So here are the details. The Conservatives with a 46% vote share. The SNP on 38, Labour on 13, the Lib Dems on 3. Now, look at how that has changed since 2015. The Tory vote is up 17%. The SNP vote down 16. Labour up 4 and the Liberal Democrats up slightly. So a swing in Angus of 16.3% from the SNP to the Conservatives. There's the result from Dundee East. The SNP have held in Dundee East perhaps their safest seat in the country, if I remember correctly. Uh, the SNP's Stuart Hosey, former deputy leader of the party, re-elected with 18,391 votes. The Conservatives' Eleanor Price in second place with 11,743. Uh, Leslie Brennan for Labour. Briefly a member of the Scottish Parliament, 11,176 votes for her means that she's in third place. Uh, Liberal Democrats on uh, 1,615 votes for Christopher McIntyre in fourth place. Of course, this uh, used to be Labour-held territory. They're now in third place there. The SNP with a 43% vote share. The Conservatives on 27. Uh, Labour pushed into third place place on 26, the Lib Dems on 4. The SNP vote down 17%, even in uh, Dundee East, an SNP stronghold. The Tory vote up 12 there, Labour up 6, and the Lib Dems up slightly. So the swing in Dundee East. Let's take a look at that. From the SNP to the Conservatives, of 14.6%, but Stuart Hose is re-elected and will be making his way back to the House of Commons. So here's a picture across Scotland so far. The SNP have four seats, but they are down two. Labour have one, and that's a gain for them. The Conservatives have won the Angus seat we've been reporting on. That's up one, again for them. And six MPs so far elected in Scotland. We can cross uh, to Loch Gilpin now, and the Argyll and Butte uh, count is underway there, uh, one of the largest constituencies, the most geographically challenging and 